It takes a certain level of confidence for a real estate agent to walk into a REMAX office as part of the sales force. For many, it represents years of learning the ropes at other places before coming to REMAX. But not everyone arrives at the top by following the same path. Take Susan Shell of REMAX Professionals, for example. I came to real estate from the corporate world. I was not with any other real estate companies. I worked in IT recruiting for 20 years. In 2009, I decided to get my real estate license. I wanted to be with the best firm that was going to give me the best support, to have the best education, always be on the, the front runner as far as technology and, and new ways to service clients, new ways to find clients and bring leads in. So I embarked on a process to interview three different firms that I knew had good reputations. The real estate wannabe picked the office, then got the license? Yes, I actually interviewed the firms before I even got my license because I needed to validate for myself that that's, yeah. I was yeah. launching into the right career and because I knew I wanted a full-on second career, not just a job, not just a hobby. Broker owner Mike Burns in the REMAX Professionals Ken Carroll office must have been impressed. Mike had confidence in me from day one. He expressed that to me and I always felt his support and there was no question that I was going to be successful. Susan took advantage of the tools Remax offers to help ensure that success. I've gone to corporate twice for the technology training days. That's proved very beneficial. Another benefit for Susan is the atmosphere in her office. I can go to any office around me with a question and get an immediate forthcoming, willing, ready, answer, support, uh, ideas on how to problem solve. For someone who started in real estate when the market was very tough, Susan's business had nowhere to go but up. My sales have increased every year. Um, I'm a little nervous this next year that I can meet the expectation I set for myself off my numbers last year, but like I said, I'm all in. You just march forward and you plan to exceed. I'm completely bullish in general on real estate. I've had no regrets. I love working with Remax and I'm really glad I made that choice. Susan, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Um, a very nice little video that gives some background on you, but let's uh, go a little bit more in depth. Uh, you had experience in the corporate world before Remax. Mm -hmm. You came into Remax as a brand new beginner, which is not happening, especially in this kind of a market. So what was your corporate experience? Well, there are three primary things from my background that poised me to, to make the jump. Um, number one, I'd been in IT recruiting for 20 years. And uh, I'm sure you know about that industry. It's, it's uh, ferocious. It's very heavy sales, very heavy service, and a lot of competition. Yes. So spending 20 years in that business. Um, second of all, my husband and I had been investors in real estate. We bought our first investment property approximately 15 years ago. Every time we go to purchase a property, we'd have this little debate about who should get their license to make it easier in the future. Sure. So that, uh, that experience as well. And then the third thing is my husband and I also started our own recruiting company. So having already been through the startup phase, I wasn't intimidated by launching into something new. Good. Um, most of the people that are in REMAX know our REMAX history, mm -hmm. and I started out as an investor, not as a real estate agent or a broker. Same thing. Uh, I thought, why not get a commission? Uh, you'll know more about the business, and maybe you could save the commission on the deals that you're buying as investments. So uh, a good jump for you. Uh, you decided to look around the... Uh, you recruited with uh, some companies. Uh, what was the experience like? Who did you talk to, and then how did you make the decision that Remax would be the place you'd try? Okay. I interviewed three different firms before I even went to real estate school because I, I needed to validate, I think I mentioned in the, in the video, that this was the right step for me. But it was very important to me that I was looking for high quality. I was looking for professionalism. I was looking for a stellar reputation. And I was looking for, for a firm that was the best. I mean, simply said, the best. The best technology, the best associates to surround yourself with. So I, I selected the three firms, which were the, the three most popular in the Southwest area, because that's where I live and intended to stay and work. Uh, interviewed with them and chose Remax. Okay. And what was it that the 
broker owner or manager at Remax Professionals say to you to convince you that Remax was your choice? Well, I think the most important thing is he, uh, you know, tried to convince me that it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work. You have to be ready for it. And I was like, I'm ready for it, and I want to be with the best. And uh, he was very clear that, you know, the, the things that it would require, but they provided the training, they provided the support. You had the Remax organization behind you. And if you're willing to, you know, do what it takes, you would succeed. Well, uh, obviously, you have a very strong work ethic, which uh, helps. Um, mm -hmm. How would you describe the office culture uh, within Remax Professionals? Very, very positive. Our office, you walk in, you're greeted with smiles. They, everybody has great energy. You, you can walk into any office, whether Remax Professionals has seven offices. So that was the other thing that drew me to Remax Professionals. I believe, you know, the larger, the better, the more associates you have to network sure. with. Uh, the more leads, the more inner office um, support you get. So it doesn't matter what office I walk into, you're greeted with a smile, you have great energy, people to answer a question if you have one. You can ask somebody, well, how do I use the fax machine for the 10th time and get a smile on their face and they will help you. So whatever you need, the support is offered. Sure. And so when you look at the uh, office uh, administrative support, mm -hmm. what do you feel the support is like? I think they're exceptional. The, the people that Remax hires in our offices, just like the associates are all dedicated professionals, so are the support staff. They, they come to work serious about their job and serious about supporting their associates because they know that they're behind us, that for us to perform at our top, they need to perform at their top. So everybody takes their job seriously, yet with humor, with service, with a smile. That's cool. When you uh, look at the Remax business model, mm -hmm. very entrepreneurial, you have to pay money up front, uh, you're responsible for running your own business, and you were a beginner, though very successful in your previous business life. So uh, what was important to you about this entrepreneurial uh, concept that we have? Well, because I came to the industry with a lot of my own ideas about how to serve people, how to take care of your clients, I love the idea and embrace that you can you can service your clients to meet your own expectations and, and be pushed by your peers around you. And of course, it's a competitive business. But the, the structure allows you the freedom to really pursue your business, to promote your business, to support your business. All those things is creatively and you know, to uh, continue to keep, compete better within your own parameters. Sure. And you've talked about training. Obviously, uh, you were a newbie to the business. <laughs> um, what kind of training was important to you, and how well did Remax in the office level, the region level, mm -hmm. or the international level uh, meet your expectations? It exceeded my expectations. Everything about working with Remax and in real estate has exceeded my expectations. And because uh, the tr I came from in in recruiting, I had some of the best trainers behind me, and that's one of the reasons I believe I excelled in that business. So training was paramount. That was one of my my top factors because I knew I wanted to replace a six-figure income my first year and I had to choose the right firm so that I could accomplish that goal. I planned to be in real estate 10 to 15 years and was very serious about that career change. So selecting that company, the training that they provided me, so uh, branch training, we have sales meetings, we do training there. I've done, uh, Mike Burns suggested I do the Buffini 100 Days to Greatness. Yes. That was key because just learning the language, I mean I had to replace all my nomenclature. And then um, corporate training, I've been to corporate here a couple times for the different technology days. Uh, I love technology, so that was very important to me and to keep up on it because I liked Remax because they were always creating, always innovating. You have to constantly change technology. And um, so those technology days are invaluable to really keep up on using the tools to help my business. Good. Um, and have you had any experience uh, with Lead Street? I have. In fact, I was out yesterday with a first time home buyer for two hours looking at homes, and it was so exciting. That was a lead that came to me within the last 30 days from Lead Street. He met with the lender, he's all qualified, ready to go, and we had a super day. And then that same week, it, within that same 30 day time period, I had another fabulous uh, listing appointment uh, lead that came from Lead Street. So exceptional. Fantastic. And like anything else, you have to work it. 
Oh, it, yes. It doesn't come for free. No, it does not. What, to, what would you say to a prospective agent who is thinking about uh, making a change already in the real estate business, uh, thinking were they good enough to move up to Remax or whatever? What advice would you give them in the thinking process? Well, I'm very big into goal setting. So if there's an agent that goes, you know, I'm going to be in real estate 10 years from now, five years from now, I would say there, there's nothing that is lacking at Remax. What would you, you know, if you have reasons you're even considering it, um, there's probably additional support that is needed. And why wait? The sooner you do it, the sooner you're going to exceed. Sure. So do it now. Well, proud you're with us. You have a great attitude. And uh, you're the future of our industry. Uh, smart, uh, well-trained in another industry. You know how to give customer service. Uh, exactly what we look for. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate you coming in today. All right.